Like I said, it's plastic. You don't want to crank it down in there and break it. Okay, we got a 2017 Dodge Challenger. It has a small V6 engine in it. It's nothing fancy about it. We're going to do an oil change on it. Show you what it takes. Pretty simple. First thing we got to do is uh, you get it up on ramps and get underneath and underneath the hood. Got to get it up on the ramps. A little trick for some of you guys that uh, pull your car up on the ramps and the front end wants to drag on your ramps. That's about a two and a half foot, two by six. It helps gradually bring your car up onto the ramps so that front spoiler, spoiler air dam doesn't drag. Anyhow, there's an oil filter up top, right up front. That little plastic cap right there. I'll be pulling this off. It's only got a couple of little spots to hold it on. Comes up pretty easy. But for me, it makes it a little bit easier to get down in here. And I can take an air hose, blow all this dust out of here as well. If I can stick a grease rag down in here, I don't want oil dripping. I'm going to pull that filter up out of there. Some of the tools we'll need, obviously a socket set for the drain plug underneath and the plastic rock guard, I guess. Here's our oil filter. It does come with a new O-ring, which goes on that cap. And this is a size 15 sixteenths will fit the top of that cap. It's not on there tight. It shouldn't be on there tight. It's just plastic. You don't want to put it back on there tight either. Just snug. Like I said, it does have an O-ring on there to help keep it from leaking. As you can see, it's, it's fairly loose. Like I said, it's plastic. You don't want to crank it down in there and break it. Get your grease rag ready. And bring it up out there easy. Okay, once you get the oil filter out of there, it just snaps into this cap. Pull it loose. Here's your O-ring. Your O-ring, use a small pick, small screwdriver, some way to get a hold of it. And just pull it off. You throw one out in the way, we have a brand new one. Slide that one down into place. Now you have a new O-ring on there. Make sure it seats into the little groove that's there. We'll take our new oil filter. It snaps in on that piece here. It's ready to go back in. All right, with our new one, ready to go in. Got the oil ring on it, new oil filter's in place. Slide down in, just screws in. Hand tight, let's go a little bit tighter. Feels more break that. It's just plastic. We're done there. We're ready to go underneath the car. What we've got under here, so you got the plastic cover, protect the oil pan from whatever debris from driving down the road. We also have four 10 millimeter bolts, one on each corner of this. We got to pull those out first. Now this piece just slides out, it's on the ground. What I usually do is just push it on towards the back of the car out of my way. Bring our drain pan over here, which I'm using a bucket. Next we'll get the drain plug out. Got a drain pan, which is a bucket in my case, and a 13 millimeter. Let's pull that drain plug out. Be sure to have your drain pan underneath it because it's going to start dripping oil. And the drain plug is out. Let your oil drain out. Now that all the oil is drained out of it, put the drain plug back, plug back in. Let's tighten it up. All right, we're ready to put our cover back on. It just slides right back into place. 
little slots up there. We're ready to add some oil. No cap be on the driver's side of the engine. Move it. I like to wipe it down and set it aside. Large funnel. Use your grease rag, put it underneath the funnel when you remove it. It'll help stop you from dripping. Make sure to put your oil cap back on and turn and lock it in place. And now we can put our engine cover back on. So you have a couple tabs. There's four of them. One there, here. All four corners of your intake housing. Line those up. Push down. The oil change is complete. Close the hood, back it down off the ramps. Put your tools away. If you like what you've seen, if it helped you out, great. Like, subscribe, share. More of this to come. Thanks for watching.